Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about text buttons. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to add in a text button into our example GUI, and you'll see we've got some stuff in here. So, first of all, I'm going to size it. We've talked about size and everything like that before. I'm going to put it right here. Now, I'm going to change the color, make it whatever color I want, and I'm going to have the text say open panel or something like that. Scale that up and make it maybe. Okay, now there's not too much to talk about property wise, but we know we notice when we hover over the button, it kind of highlights a bit. So let's add in a local script into this button because there's actually a few uh, methods we can go through. I'm not going to go through all this script, but essentially, when we click this button, we can make it do something. So I'm just going to say local button equals script.parent because that is what the button is, it's this uh, button here. Now, as I said, I'm not going to talk too much about the code. I'm just going to kind of show you the main method. Now, what we've got is we've got button dot, and you'll see we have mouse enter, mouse button one down, mouse button one click, mouse leave, mouse moved, mouse button one up, two up, and there's all these cool ma um, mouse functions. So let me go through them. So mouse one click, this will be called when you left click the button. Mouse enter will be called when the mouse enters the element. Now as you'll see when you click on these it gives you a um, example for each of these uh, functions and what they all do each of these methods. So mouse enter fires when, when the user moves their mouse into the element. Mouse button one down is when the left mouse is held down on the state of the object. Mouse leave is when the mouse leaves the object. Mouse moved is whenever the user moves their mouse while it's inside of the like, element. Mouse one up is essentially when you release left click. Mouse two up is when you release right click. Mouse two down is when you uh, hold down right click. Mouse button two click is when you click right click. Mouse wheel forward is when you move your wheel forward. And mouse wheel backwards is when you move your wheel backwards. So they're all quite straightforward, but I'm just going to stick with button one click. And I'm going to say colon connect function because this is how we call a function. And now we can have some code in here. So I want when this button's clicked to open slash close this panel. So I'm going to start by going to our example frame and setting it to invisible. Go over to this local script and I'll say script.parent.parent.example frame dot visible equals not script.parent.parent example frame dot visible this is just some basic uh, code that will toggle the uh, visibility of our example frame on and off so if I now hit play you'll see when we get in I can click it it turns on click it off and it will turn off okay so now if I replace this with mouse uh, enter we'll see when I enter the mouse onto GUI it will uh, open it up hold on uh, here we are so I've entered it I've not clicked anything and then when I enter it again it turns off so that's pretty cool now we'll look at mouse button one down now here I don't actually have to release left click I'm not going to release left click I'm just going to hold left click on the button and it should still work okay yep and I've not even let go yet you can see by the color of green it is when I let go it goes back to normal so that's mouse down now we've also got mouse leave which is just the opposite of enter Mouse moved, I'll show you mouse moved. Basically, if we hover our mouse over, now it's turned on. If we just move one pixel, it'll turn off. Right, now I'll show you mouse wheel forward. And for mouse wheel forward, I have to, of course, if, if I don't have it, I'll just zoom in and out. But if I have my mouse over this panel, then I'll go forward, it opens it. And yeah, and the opposite, of course, does the, the opposite. So that's pretty cool. That is essentially all there is to buttons. They just do things for you so i hope you found this video helpful next episode we're going to talk about image labels and how they work so i'll see you then thanks for watching and goodbye